hello everyone welcome back to my channel if it's your first time welcome to taste of trace for today's recipe we'll be cooking up some saltfish sandwich let's begin so for the ingredients here we have some minced garlic chopped onion chopped sive or scallions chopped parsley sliced carrots diced christophine for those of you who don't know christophine this is what it looks like chopped red bell peppers diced cherry tomatoes some fresh thyme we'll be using some turmeric powder and some black pepper and this is the coconut milk that we're gonna use it is so rich and flavorful and of course the star of the dish some saltfish I washed it and removed the majority of the salt I haven't boiled it as yet so that is what we're gonna do next just placing it in a pot of water and we'll allow it to boil until it creates a foam then we'll drain out the water and rinse it once again so now with my hands I'm shredding the salt fish and I'm gonna shred them up into small pieces like this so once they're all shredded up we're good to go now we're going to saute the vegetables here I added some vegetable oil in this pan and I have my heat on um, medium and we add in the, the garlic and onion and we're just gonna stir, stir them up together and let them simmer down for about two minutes Now we're adding the red bell pepper, the carrot, christophine, and tomatoes. Stir everything up together and then we're gonna put the lid on and let it simmer for a few minutes. We'll add just a little bit of water and also the fresh thyme. Honestly, I forgot to add it in the beginning with the veggies, but that's fine. It's not too late. We're going in with uh, the turmeric powder and black pepper. The turmeric will add a nice color to this dish. You can find the ingredients and measurements in the description box. Now we'll put the lid back on and let it cook down for five minutes. Now we're adding in our saltfish and this is where it starts to get interesting you know this is where the fun parts begin and this is Dominican style sandwich this is how my mother makes her sandwich and it's definitely one of my favorite childhood dishes every time my mom would make it or every time I knew she was gonna make it I would get so excited <laughs> like really now let's add some creaminess to this look at this coconut milk that is getting into this mm. and it smells amazing guys so i added some of the coconut milk and i will add the rest in a little while i just don't want to add all of it at once now in goes the second batch now i want it to be extra saucy because i am going to have it with some provision doesn't it look appetizing? You definitely need to try this. Let's put the lid back on and allow the coconut milk to cook up for a few minutes. Now we're going in with our fresh sive and parsley. And the reason why I added them um, near the end is because when you add the fresh herb um, towards the end of the dish, they bring this nice fresh flavor. You know, it's very pleasant. So it's always better to add your fresh herb near the end of your dish so we didn't add any hot peppers just because I didn't want it to be spicy usually I would add some pimento peppers or seasoning peppers but I couldn't find any so if you're someone who likes a little spiciness to your foods you can go ahead and add in some of your favorite hot sauce or you can add um, some scotch bonnet peppers it's really up to you now let's go ahead and taste it to see if we're good to go yep we're good to go you know the saltfish is already salty so you don't need to add salt but you should always taste to see if it has enough put the lid back on and let it cook down for two minutes and that is it for my saltfish sandwich recipe 
come open up so you can taste <laughs> thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and please try this recipe at home i plated it up with some provision and avocado you can also enjoy it with some rice don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you always know when I upload. Like, comment, share, and I'll see you next time. Bye.